Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today we're going to be checking out the loot I got from 100 spy runs on Oceanum Pluto. This video was requested by a viewer, but I don't remember your username, I apologize. 100 runs on Oceanum was quite something, it usually took me about 3.5 to 4 minutes to complete an actual spy mission, factor in the loading times, etc. It probably took around 4.5 to 5 minutes every time I ran it, which means this took about 8 hours or so to do, give or take an hour or so. Now let's find out if if it was worth it by checking out the loot. As many of you know, when you complete a spy mission and get all three data extractions, you will get three pieces of loot. It's almost always a relic, a mod, and then something else like credits or endo, but sometimes you will get two mods or two of the other category as I'm calling it. First, let's check out the mods I got. I got 21 stabilizer mods, 13 steady hands, 6 hell's chambers, 20 power throws, 8 stretches, 8 Covert Lethalities, 7 Scorches, 8 Frostbites, 3 Thermite Rounds, 7 Frigid Blasts, 7 Shotgun Ammo Mutations, 9 Sniper Ammo Mutations, and 4 Arrow Mutations. Now some of these mods are quite valuable, like Covert Lethality and all of the Elemental mods. You can usually sell them for a pretty penny in the trading tab or on Warframe.market, which is what I do with my mods. But as you can see, most of what I got was Stabilizers, Steady Hands, and Power Throw. These are pretty much useless mods that no one's going to use for anything except for Trans mutation. Now let's check out the relics, which is another plus side to this mission, as you get a ton of relics. First, the Meso relics. We got 13 Meso S1 relics, 10 Meso S2 relics, 9 Meso V1 relics, and 11 Meso V2, D1, and F1 relics, 11 of each, that's interesting. Next up are the Neo relics, of which we got quite a lot less. We got 5 Neo S1 relics, 3 Neo S3 relics, 7 Neo N2 relics, 2 Neo N3 relics, 5 Neo V2 relics, and 13 Neo V3 relics. Now, the relic drop rates, I'm really not sure about. It's quite clear that you get Neo relics less often than Meso relics. And then I got 13 of the V3 relics, but only 5 or 7 or 2 or 3 of all the other ones. So it could just be my personal luck, but it seems like the drop rates of certain relics are lower than others. Now let's check out the miscellaneous loot category. I got 10 50 endo drops, 14 80 endo drops, 16 2000 credit catches, 11 2500 credit catches, 5 4000 credits catches, and 8 5 5,000 credit catches. Then we got 10 Ivara blueprints and 5 Ivara Neuroptic blueprints. Now out of 100 runs, that would give it a 10% chance for the blueprint and a 5% chance for the Neuroptics. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm sure it's a little higher or lower than that, but that's what I got. I also got 410,000 credits for completing the mission 100 times, and in total we got 1,620 endo and 529,500 credits. Clearly this isn't the best mission to run for credits or endo. They are more of a byproduct of playing this mission. Now is it worth it to run spy missions on Oceanum and Pluto? I would actually say yes. Out of the time I spent here, it only took about four minutes to complete a mission, and you get a relic pretty much every time. You also have the chance to get one of those five mods I mentioned earlier that are worth a pretty penny to sell, and of course you get some credits and endo over time. Do note there are some downsides to running this mission. In spy missions, you have to be paying attention a lot while you're playing, or you will not be able to complete them very efficiently. Plus, if you fail a data extraction, you will be missing out on a lot of loot. That's really all I have to say about this. I had a lot of fun running this, and if you guys have any suggestions for future Warframe loot videos you'd like to see from me, leave a comment down below. I'd like to thank you very much for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on videos and a lot of very weird posts. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.